Nolagent here at the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, Louisiana. And a salute out there to all my fellow veterans here on Veterans Day. We have a huge amount to cover here. They have so much World War II material here. It's going to be a fantastic experience. Let's go. Just a quick content warning. This video will contain weapons, images of violence and death, and swastikas, as all of those were aspects of fighting a war in World War II. So if any of those things are going to be disturbing to you, do not watch this video. With that being said, nothing in the World War II Museum contains anything that I did not personally see as a child when I was growing up. But if you have children, you need to decide for yourself if this is the type of content or the type of museum that's appropriate for them. I've been coming to the National World War II Museum since the very first moment it was opened as I was able to attend a special opening ceremony event for this and take the first tour that they had here. And I've attended many other special events, parties, and just visited for a normal visit many times since then. I have not been in quite a few years now and they've added a lot more exhibits that I'm anxious to check out. And today is Veterans Day and they are letting veterans in for free. Now World War II veterans are always able to get in free. I obviously am not a World War II veteran, so I usually get to pay whenever I visit. Uh, I have really enjoyed in the past their American Sector restaurant, but they changed the uh, company that did the food, and the food, in my opinion, really went down substantially in quality. And it also used to be a fun place to go to happy hours, but they've stopped that even before the COVID-19 pandemic set in. So it really is not the fun place that it used to be in the American sector. So I don't go there anymore. And most of my friends don't either anymore. But as you can see, as we just did our tour around the World War II Museum, it is huge. It covers more than this entire square block that we drove past and around it. So they also have parking here, but it used to be free, but now you get to pay for the parking. And when you're in the area outside the World War II Museum, you should look down at the red bricks as they have names of individuals, most of them being service members, that a family member has purchased to memorialize them here. So make sure you take a look down at the bricks you're walking on as you go. And then as we look down the street to the right, across the street from the museum is a new facility right there that's opened up for work they're doing. They haven't opened it up to the public yet. And then right here on the other side of the street on the museum side, they have the soda shop that's currently closed, but in normal times, it's a nice ice cream spot. And then this is the main entrance to the museum here. And then you can also go through the American sector. And that's the way I'm gonna go in today is through the American sector. So as I walk on through, they definitely keep remodeling this. They've got a lot of things going on in here. They don't have any of the bar stools up, which I would assume is due to the COVID-19 situation. And then you walk right out into the museum section here, and there's also a gift store right in this area. They have at least three gift stores I know about. They might have more. They always seem to uh, be adding gift shops. So they have a lot of t-shirts and books and items. Uh, they also have a new Ghost Army display that's a special exhibit that we're gonna take a look at. So let's go walk in and check out the Ghost Army exhibit here. If you enjoy my content, I really would appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and destroy that subscribe button and click that little bell as it really does help me. And if you really want to help me, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider joining my Patreon program, which would really help contribute to getting out more quality content like this. And because you're helping me, I really do want to help you. And we will work together to design my Nolagent Channel Patreon program to offer the rewards and access that you would like to get established as we kick this program off. So just think about what would be the one question you know you would like to ask yourself right now that would let you totally and completely know next week that you could look back from then to now knowing that it was the best idea that you ever came up with. So I really do appreciate it and the link to the Patreon info will be below in the description under the video. Thank you so much.
most notable example is in the uh, operation here, Nearson. They were Wow, they have really done a fantastic job of upgrading everything in this area because the last time I visited this section, they didn't have any of this stuff in this area. So great job with really stepping above and beyond anything I thought would have been in here. And so when we finish this area, we're going to be going across the street to their original displays that cover the European and Pacific theaters. So we will be leaving this building that has the American Sector Restaurant and the Solomon Victory Theater that is still playing the Beyond All Boundaries 4D movie, which is an interesting good movie for the most part. And one really big criticism I have of the movie Beyond All Boundaries and the museum in general is they really leave out the contributions of the Allies in World War II. Uh, this is very American-centric. If you look at the museum displays and watch the movie Beyond All Boundaries, you get the impression that the USA did all of World War II on their own, which is historically very inaccurate. So they do need to give a lot more credit to the Allies. So we will cross the street to the building where the original museum displays were, where they have the European theater and the war with Japan. And this is the original portion that they've updated a lot since I came here originally. And then we get to see a lot of interesting new interactive stuff they've added. It used to just be a lot of static displays.
Palermo is of special significance to New Orleans as we have a lot of people that emigrated to New Orleans from Palermo and Sicily. These men will become some of the most decorated soldiers of the war. D-Day gets a little confusing as they have a section on it here, but then they have a completely separate section on D-Day as well in a completely different building that we'll see later.
Allies to the wrong strategy yields another benefit. It keeps the Japanese off balance. Somehow, the Chinese managed to hold on. Over the course of the war, the Chinese suffered staggering military. Okay, that finishes up our tour in the original museum display area. Now we're going to go over to some of the newer display areas and another building. So we'll just look down one last time. I crossed over the sky bridge 
and we'll get some really great views when we cross the sky bridge. So this is a really great place to get some good photographs that you can't get from other vantage points. So this definitely is a good place to grab some good shots as you cross over the bridge. So some really nice shots here. And when we cross the bridge, we get into the Merchant Marine Gallery area. Then we get into another large area that has several more displays. Now we're going to head into the Arsenal of Democracy section.
population staggering from desperate expansion. Many are still skeptical about the enormity of the task of the warriors and promises of President of Spain and the new states. propose a startling theory. Shooting neutrons into the nucleus of the brain of atom could generate a chain reaction. Now we're heading into the standalone D-Day invasion display.
4,000 troops ashore. More are on the way. The Allies now move quickly to expand their beachhead before the Germans can mount a counterattack. As the GIs move inland, they encounter unfamiliar terrain, these like region of tall hedgerows and sunken roads known as the Volcano. So here is yet another gift shop. I don't think I've ever been in this one before. This one seems to be more of a book focused gift shop. And we're coming in here mainly to go take a peek at the soda shop, which is currently closed, but you can at least get a little view of it here so you can see what it looks like on the inside. So when things open up back up again fully after this pandemic situation, hopefully you can enjoy some time in there. So thanks a lot to the National World War II Museum for a fantastic experience. And thank you very much for the free entrance for veterans. Happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans out there as well. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.